Maybe running outside today just to stay warm. Take that live look. Winterville Pitt Community College for us this afternoon. We've got the low clouds locked in. Now, Winterville might be one of those areas where we could start by late this afternoon. See a little bit of sunshine trying to peek through, but it's going to take a while for us to see any a decent amount of uh, clearing skies around here. All this is because of a wave of low pressure moving out away from Hatteras right now, but the counterclockwise flow around it is keeping that north northeasterly moist wind locked in place and chilly temperatures. I mean, Keenesville seeing a little bit of sunshine trying to peek through. Same thing with southwest Onslow, but Jacksonville itself coming in at 73. Same thing in New Bern, 78 in Bellhaven and 78 also in Beaufort. We are seeing that system well offshore, but keeping those north northeasterly wind force here on the chilly side. Again, I think some spots are going to be lucky to hit 80, 81 degrees as far as top temps are concerned today. I'll put in a slim chance, maybe a spotty shower sprinkle east of Highway 17 but really I don't think we're going to see that much coverage of them. We'll at least get a little bit of partial clearing as we head overnight tonight. That may actually allow some of that moisture in the low levels from all that rain we've got here recently to actually start to cause some low clouds and fog for us here. And in case you're wondering, we picked up anywhere between about five and a half to almost nine inches of rainfall just since last Tuesday alone. So at least we got a couple days here to dry out as that low pressure makes its way out of here. Brief high pressure across the northern mid Atlantic is going to try to slide in here later tonight and in through the daytime hours tomorrow. Looks like tomorrow is going to be the nicest day of the week as far as being able to get out to the beach and, and if you enjoy the warmth, that'll when we'll see it there as well. As we head overnight tonight again, we could see some of those patchy light showers off to the east here, and that may form some fog early tomorrow morning. We'll quickly see that fog burn off. Sunshine's with us back to the upper 80s to near that 90 degree mark. Still on the warm side as we head in through the day on Wednesday. In fact, Wednesday could actually be the hottest day of the week with us getting into the mid 80s, thanks or mid 90s rather, thanks to the southwesterly winds after barely being down below 80 degrees for overnight lows going into Wednesday morning. And then after that, by the afternoon and evening hours, showers and storms start to develop as a front slides in here. The problem is the front never really clears out of here, and we might be looking at a tropical system trying to develop on the tail end of that in the Gulf of Mexico. So going into the end of the week and the weekend, we are going to be looking for at least moisture coming up out of the Gulf of Mexico towards us here in eastern North Carolina. We'll just have to wait and see if it's an officially named storm or not, but you'll notice more clouds, scattered showers and storms, at least in the afternoon and evening hours lasting into the weekend.